This video production is brought to you by First Coast Realty. Buying made better, selling made simple. Congratulations! Your home is under contract, and now it's time to get it sold. While it's exciting to think about moving in and decorating your home, after you've applied for your mortgage, there are some key things to keep in mind before you close. Today, I'm giving you a list of things you may not realize you need to avoid after applying for your home loan. My name is Shallon Sims with First Coast Realty. If you're watching and you find the video helpful, please give us a thumbs up. And if you still have any questions, please leave us a comment. And if you'd like to see more videos, hit that subscribe button. Now, let's get into those things that you need to avoid once you've applied for a home loan. First, don't deposit large sums of cash. Lenders need to source your money and cash isn't easily traceable. Before you deposit any amount of cash into your accounts, discuss the proper way to document your transactions with your loan officer. Next, don't make any large purchases. It's not just home-related purchases that could disqualify you from your loan. Any large purchases can be red flags for lenders. People with new debt have higher debt-to-income ratios, or debt that you have compared to your monthly income. Since higher ratios make for riskier loans, borrowers may no longer qualify their mortgage. Resist the temptation to make any large purchases, even for furniture or appliances, until after your loan closes. Third, don't co-sign loans for anyone. When you co-sign for a loan, you're making yourself accountable for that loan's success and repayment. With that obligation comes higher debt-to-income ratios as well. Even if you promise you won't be the one making the payments, your lender will have to count the payments against you. Next, don't switch bank accounts. Lenders need to source and track your assets. That task is much easier when there's consistency among your accounts. Before you transfer any money, speak with your loan officer. Don't apply for new credit. It doesn't matter whether it's a new credit card or a new car. When you have your credit report run by organizations in multiple financial channels like mortgages, credit cards, auto loans, it will have an impact on your FICO credit score. Lower credit scores can determine your interest rate and possibly even your eligibility for approval. Don't close any accounts. Many buyers believe having less available credit makes them risky and more likely to be approved. This isn't true. A major component of your score is your length and depth of credit history, as opposed to just your payment history, and your total usage of credit as a percentage of available credit. Closing accounts has a negative impact on both of those aspects of your credit score. Now that we've covered things that you don't want to do, I'm going to leave you with one piece of advice to do. Do discuss changes with your lender. Be upfront about any changes that occur or you're expecting to occur when talking with your lender. Blips in income, assets or credit should be reviewed and executed in a way that ensure your home loan can still be approved. If your job or employment status has changed recently, share that with your lender as well. Ultimately, it's best to fully disclose and discuss your intentions with your loan officer before you do anything financial in nature. Bottom line, you want your home purchase to go as smoothly as possible. Remember, before you make any large purchases, move money around, or just make major life changes, be sure to consult with your lender, someone who's qualified to explain how your financial decisions may impact your home loan. To find out more about this topic, check out our blog post. You can find a link in the caption below. And if you're not already working with an agent, give us a call. We have lots of experience with St. Augustine Real Estate and would love to guide you through the home buying process. See you next week. We hope you have found this information helpful. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to make sure you see all of our helpful videos. First Coast Realty offers full-service real estate including buyers, sellers, investors, and a property management division.